Let me create some green dye. Hi everybody, in this video we're talking about the text widget and adding text as a source to one of your shots in Game Show. Now this actually has three different sections, which I'll show you here in just a second. So once I have my shot selected, I'm going to add a text source. So when I say it has three different sections here, what I mean is that we can add text, which is just basic within the normal interface, or we can have it read from a text file, which is separate from Game Show, or we can pull in an RSS feed. Now more or less, these are the same thing. So once you input your source or the text itself, so in this case, let's just make a really quick one that just says Lucas B. That's my name. Now I can choose to line wrap that. What that means is that if you have paragraph upon paragraph upon paragraph, if you line wrap, when it gets to the end of your determined size of your text box, it'll drop down. So that's really good if you want someone to be able to read the whole thing. But if we're doing something like an RSS feed where we have tons of information coming in, we want to take the line wrap off. That way it'll just be one long string of text that will scroll right through. And in order to do that, we want to enable the scrolling. So we can do non-stop scrolling from maybe from right to left. That'll look like something that's, that's coming through. Maybe I need to put a space at the end there to put a little spacing in my name. So that works for all three sources, whether it's from a text file or from an RSS feed. Now on change, if I want it to fade, that's a little bit different. If I have maybe a, a text file that I'm adding something from, if I save that and want it to change, it'll fade nicely with a 0.5 second fade. And we can maybe slow down that scrolling. Let's do it 20. You can see how it'll kind of just go across the screen a little bit slower. Uh, we can auto reverse it as well. We can change the background and the color. Maybe I want to maybe more of a bright green here. That looks pretty good to me. And of course I can change the font style, the font variant, the font weight. I always like small caps across the board. So that would be if we just wanted to add a simple text, Lucas B, that's my name. Now if we want to go from a file, I'll show you how to do that. You're going to add the file path. So I already have a text file on my desktop here. It's just an empty box here. It's a .txt file. I'm going to find that. I know that it's on my desktop and that it's called, where is it? Game Show Test Text. So I open that up and now it's reading from it. So if I click OK, it'll show up here just like the text box would, but there's nothing in it. So what I need to do is go back into that text file and type my name. Now once I click save, it should pop up right there with those things that I've, with those parameters, green, scrolling from left to right. Let me put that space in there and save again. And it should just jump right into place. Lucas B scrolling through the middle. Now this works just the same for an RSS feed. All you have to do is find the RSS feed that you want, copy the URL and put it in that box. If you want to change something, once again, just go to the source specific properties. You have all of this stuff right here, ready to go, changing however you want it. So there's three different ways to get text. You can type it in, you can have it read from a text file on your machine, or you can pull in an RSS feed. And then once you've done that, you can customize it however you'd like. So that's adding a text as a source in Game Show.